Mothers of Reddit. At what point did you feel you started loving your child? I describe the initial love as more of a biological obligation. I wanted to feed and comfort him. But it's no different than any relationship. You have to get to know each other, which was something I never considered. By three months I really fell in love and we're at 10 months now and I'm utterly obsessed. Tilda the love that I was expecting took a bit of time but I always knew it had come. When their little personality peeks through and they start to interact with you. Um, amazing. Hmm interesting question because I had a moment a few hours after her birth where I felt a very intense instinctual love. I knew I would lay down my life for her in that moment. I also agree with other posters. I felt love for her before she was born, from the moment I knew I was pregnant. But at what point did I love my child beyond maternal instinct? I honestly don't know. The love I feel for my now 4-year-old is very different than the love I felt for her as a baby. The instinctual protective love is still there. But now I know her as a little person. We have a two-way relationship. That relationship really took off when we began being able to communicate. For me, around when kiddo was about 6 months old. Up until that time, I felt like I was babysitting someone else's kid. Doing my best to keep them alive. Healthy and thriving. Honestly, what tipped me over was trying to give her antibiotics for an ear infection. She was fighting taking the liquid meds. I was holding her down with one arm and my upper body while trying to angle the syringe in her mouth. She was wiggling and crying and I suddenly saw in her eyes that I was scaring her. She was afraid of me. That really jolted me out of feeling detached from her. I think that was the first time I comforted her from a genuine place of caring. And love grew quickly from there. What is one thing that 99% of people have done but you haven't? I have never broken a bone, had a cavity, been on a roller coaster, eaten many popular foods, quiz me if you'd like, been hospitalized, had a surgery, and much more but I'm in class and can't spend much more time on this? I have never eaten lobster or crab from the shell. I've had crab cakes and sushi with real crab. I've had a lobster roll and lobster mac and cheese. I think I would like them. It's just that they are so expensive that I can't afford to find out. Pee in the shower. It's not exactly 99% but my guy it was surprising how many people did this. Even more surprising how many people will try and gaslight you and say nah nah you're lying when you say you don't do it. No I am not sorry but I have not even as a young kid and never will pee in the shower. Had a living baby. I know it's not 99% of all people but of the people who want a baby. 99% of them are ultimately able to produce one. Some with medical help. We unfortunately are not part of that 99%. Never done drugs. Just didn't appeal to me. Not even smoked marijuana or anything. I don't really drink either, anymore. When I was younger I did more. I think it's just that I'm a control freak and don't like feeling disoriented. Burp. I don't mean accidentally. I mean have massive pressure built up in my stomach and just be unable to belch to get it out no matter how hard I try. This leads to me being miserable with cramp-like feelings anytime I overeat or drink a lot of something with bubbles. Sometimes it gets bad enough I actually just throw up in an attempt to burp because it helps a little. But that's super rare. I think I've accidentally burped like 10 times ever in my life and I'm like whoa, what a relief no wonder people do this. But I just cannot do it when needed. They ever see their former. Sold. Car on the streets? Yes. I've seen my old 52 Dodge. And my O2 Tacoma. I know that the guys who bought it live in another state so I wouldn't find it here. Yes to the point I think the guy who bought it was stalking me for a bit. Yup. Just saw my old car on the road the other day. It felt a little weird seeing it because I never expected to see it again. You would be surprised how often you pass the same vehicle. I wrap cars and see at least one if not four of them almost daily. I have seen my last vehicle as well. Why do people hate self-checkout but don't complain about pumping their own gas? Self-checkout is good enough for a handful of items. But for a full cart run it is useless. The barcodes are fine, it is the tissue paper bags and getting the computer to understand bagging that is where it all goes haywire. If I have many things I would vastly prefer to have someone who does this all day and has their station set up do the checkout. Part of what I think makes so many people irate is the nearly two dozen checkout lanes that are unmanned which compels you to use self-checkout. Literally the only open lane is the cigarette lane. I love self-checkout. Don't have to make small talk with the cashier and I can bag my stuff exactly how I want to bag it. I've encountered many cashiers who just throw everything into bags and they'll turn out top heavy. Then I end up having to rearrange everything myself. I also know which items need to be double bagged. Because evidently. Some cashiers don't. I suspect this is somewhat situational to exactly geographically where you are. The specific customer demographics that your store serves. And lots of intangibles, like how well designed the software interface is. Does it need lots of special attention with an oversensitive weight sensor and confused submenus? Or is it forgiving enough to use without any experience? Where I live its achieved status is pretty accepted by the general public. I don't honestly notice much behavior in the way of avoiding them over traditional checkouts if both options are available. But that's just anecdotal. Yeah it is different. But because self-checkout as is implemented needs a lot of work. Self-checkout is great when you have a couple things and the process goes smoothly. Instead, you often sit there as it thinks you haven't scanned something. But I think AI will likely be used soon to improve things like that. 
What snack did you use to love when you were young but fell out of love with it as you got older? I drank a fair bit of Mountain Dew as a kid. I'm in my mid-30s now and it's probably been 8 to 10 since I had one. Haven't had a soda on general I'm 2 to 3 years. Have y'all had a hot pocket recently? Those shits are disgusting. And the shits you'll have after eating one of those shits will be even worse. Also, can chili. Chili should not be sweet nor should it have beans. Red vines. I could never get enough as a kid. Then about 5 years ago I saw a tub of it and decided fk it and grabbed it. Ate one and threw the tub away. Fell out of love with. Nutter butters. Fell into love with. Uncrustables. But only the strawberry ones. The blueberry ones can die in a fire. Most candy. Once I was old enough to realize what candy does to dental health. I cut it out almost completely. Nowadays I have candy once in a blue moon. Slim Jims. Ate them like crazy in high school. And I bought them recently for a bit of nostalgia. And now I see why everybody was always telling me they were bad. Taco Flavor Doritos. They changed them later to be Taco Supreme, by Taco Bell, flavor. And it has some kind of gross sour cream flavor mixed in it now. The 80s 90s Taco Flavor Doritos were the pinnacle of Doritos. Fruit Loops. I'm not one of those people who pretend to hate sweet stuff. It's just that there are much better options in the genre of sugary cereal. Even Fruity Pebbles destroy Fruit Loops. I think I was drawn in by the toucan and the really good marketing. I used to go insane for puppy chow, you know. The Chex Mix stuff, but nowadays. One cup of that stuff contains more sugar than I eat in a whole month. LOL.